offices are closed in Canada. Well, it's time for welterweights on display now. This is a man who calls himself the Midwest best kept secret, calls himself beautiful, calls himself Mr. Fifty Shades, thinks he can have any woman in the world. He thinks he's God's gift to the male race. This is Brett Havoc, made a memorable debut at Welterweight 3 on pay-per-view. I believe it was down to the final three in a 10-man elimination tag. Now we see Brett officially embark and his goal will be welterweight champion, a three-way, one-fall matchup, or excuse me, a three-way elimination matchup where the winner, the last survivor, will be able to contest against the winner of tonight's welterweight championship matchup, Wings in Boston. Well, a lot on the line here for all three uh, individuals. I think some of the ladies were smitten. Well, the one-man boy band, Ace Perry, was smitten with the idea of being welterweight champion, but ever since he lost that at welterweight two, Ace Perry has been just a whirlwind of emotions. He's been depressed. He's been frustrated. He's been happy. He's been enraged. He's, he's shown every sign of grief you could possibly show. He's normally a very upbeat, happy personality, but when things don't go his way, man, his temper comes out. Ace Perry covets that welterweight championship, but every time he gets back on track, it seems a new roadblock comes in his way, and he's got two big ones here tonight. Well, he can't get over that last hurdle. He literally couldn't afford the rest of that shirt either. seems almost by the hour at this point the number of individuals infected by glory well, and the call guy and ace perry ace perry out of nowhere there you see that rage there you see that that instinct that killer instinct ace perry's developed in recent months he wants a piece of everybody Gore, and there goes brett havoc not to be deterred keep in mind bc gory's the one that beat ace perry for the welterweight title and started this downward spiral for the one-man boy band. Well, Ace Perry certainly hasn't forgot that. Havoc Smart right there to take advantage of that situation. And that's what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta lay back, you gotta pick your spots, you gotta wait. Sometimes in, in elimination matches, you'll have a guy get eliminated quickly and then you have a guy who's fresh because he's been waiting the whole time. Check out the pace quickening here between Perry and Havoc as Perry explodes with a drop kick. These two men have been frequent rivals in the great state of Indiana. They know each other through and through. Here comes Gory, the X Factor, springs in with a drop kick. Gory has dominated here in Turner's Hall and Premier and Welterweight. But with these three individuals as well, an elimination could happen at any time. If you blink, you're going to miss something. Havoc has been around for over a decade at this point, as has Gory. Perry coming up on that mark, but not quite yet. Joe, who would you give the advantage to in a matchup like this? Because there's a lot of factors, a lot of things you got to take into account, but is there one guy you give the nod to? I give Gory the edge at this point in time because he's had a psychological advantage over much of this promotion since day one. Brett Havoc is not familiar with Gory, but he's getting very closely acquainted. Perry is coming in, certainly emotionally driven, and that could be a perk, it could be a downfall, as Havoc clears the ring since Gory and Perry crashing into one another. Not only that, but Ace Perry might get, for my money, have a slight advantage because he knows both men. And, per and Perry and Gory, the recipient of a Brett Havoc dive. Havoc is so full of himself, he's so cocky. Never met a mirror he didn't love. Notice he's just uh, enjoying the, uh, the adulation of these people right now. Havoc loves when the spotlight's all on him. Well, Joe, let's be honest. If, if you look like that, you probably feel the same way. There, there's women in the front row right now that are recently single once he had come out there. Are you saying that when Brett Havoc takes his shirt off, the divorce rate goes sky high? Actually, yes. To quote that great philosopher, oh my yes, God. I am. And well, The medical bills of Ace Perry are going to be going high if Brett Havoc has his way. Brett Havoc and Ace Perry have never liked each other. There's always been a very intense professional personal rivalry there. Well, Joe, Ace Perry's kind of a, a jerk. Ace Perry's one of the nicest human beings I've ever met. To some people. 
I, I believe that uh, Brett Havoc would disagree with that. Well, maybe Brett Havoc's a bit jealous of Ace Perry. You ever think about that? No, quite frankly, I have. Well, it's physicality with Havoc and Gory center ring, and Gory not going to back down to anybody. Havoc did not connect all with that kick, but got enough to stunt the momentum of the New Age Plague. But Gory comes right back with a shot of his own. And you know, with this right now, this is actually benefiting Ace Perry because he's getting a breather on the outside. Welterweight's 185 pounds and under. Rapid fire, high octane offense as Gory collides with the knees. Gory lost the Welterweight Championship to Nate Wings at Welterweight 3, available now at WelterweightWrestling.com. So you know, Gory is driven as well. Well, Gory always has a goal at hand, normally causing pain against his opponents, but that welterweight championship equally is important in the mind of Gory. Perry is able to drink Gory first in that top rope. That gives Havoc an opportunity to capitalize, but Gory is getting bloodthirsty. And Havoc downstairs. We are being lenient with rules here. Havoc, no shame, taking cheap shots. Well, Havoc uh, with a unique offense. And Gory pushes Perry in the way of Havoc. Havoc got crotched. That's a bit of karma. Well, that, that may alter his plans for tonight. All three men uh, feeling the effects, if you will. And maybe not the most conventional way to illustrate how evenly matched and competitive the welterweights are, but certainly one such way of putting it. Two former welterweight champions, one man who feels that he should have been handed the welterweight championship from day one. Brett Havoc doesn't think he needs to earn anything. Well, I believe, and I don't want to speak for Brett Havoc, but when women flock to you as they have, you kind of feel that you've got that little bit of entitlement for, for other things in life whether certainly in the wrestling business and the welterweight championship, that prestige, Brett Havoc feels like it's all his. Havoc, an amateur as a youth, disqualified many times for excessive language. Does not surprise me. Well, I actually heard that he was actually speaking Italian, and the officials got rather upset by that. So that was the excessive language that That's he was speaking. That's not what I meant. Physicality in the center of the ring here. Three men exchanging blows. Perry the advantage. Back. And Brett Havoc got his face sandwiched. Well, that's uh, that's also going to be a, a travesty for Brett Havoc. Oh, yeah. He'll be uh, analyzing himself in the mirror later as Gory and Perry collide head on. And, you know, this is what we talked about earlier. All three individuals uh, equal to one another in many ways. As I mentioned earlier, Havoc uh, not as familiar with Gory. Obviously, Gory not as familiar with Havoc. Ace Perry with the advantage on that, knowing both men. But right now, we're seeing match for match, move for move on all three individuals. I don't think there's a clear-cut advantage in this matchup. And keep in mind, whoever's the survivor at the end will move on to challenge Nate Wings or Dylan Bostic at Premier's anniversary next month as Havoc trying to slap himself back into uh, reality. Nice combo by the beautiful one. Springboard Codebreaker connects. Havoc showing you that great athletic prowess why he's the Midwest best kept secret. Havoc certainly not short on offense and definitely not short on charisma. Well, you're not going to beat Gory like that. you yeah. got to be insane. That's that, a, a disadvantage of not knowing Gory well. Absolutely. That's a mistake. If you have Gory down and you can apply pressure, that's what you want to do. You certainly don't want to disrespect him either. Perry able to matrix up. Connect with a cutter. This could do it. It's a Perry specialty. Perry's got Havoc covered here. This will do it. Gory. Interrupts the fall. I'm not sure if that was instinct or if Gory wanted to be the one to eliminate Havoc, but either way, the match presses on. Well, in Gory's sick, twisted mind, that's probably the case, but I gotta call a foul, a mistake on Gory's part. Certainly benefits Brett Havoc, saves him for now at least, but that's a mistake on Gory's part. Well, you know how the culmination operates. They want to systematically dissect everybody in their path as Ace Perry, the German suplex. Well, I, mean, I definitely did call it a mistake, but I'm not going to be the one to tell him. Now we'll see if Ace Perry can get closer to his goal. Could he beat the man that beat him for the championship? That'd be a huge step for Perry. Well, it would it would be a, a bit of a sweet vengeance from Ace Perry and would put him in contention, obviously, earning that welterweight title shot. But look at Havoc. Havoc went high on Perry. 
balancing himself. Look at this. Havoc, oh, Havoc may have been going sunset flip, but Gory's the one that flipped the equation. Perry landed on his head and on Havoc. Gory on top of Havoc got him. No. Reckless abandon, no love for anybody. Gory's just gonna not just infect the world, he's gonna hurt the world. Oh, this is set up for the Soul Eater, Ben. And Joe, if that's the case, it's gonna be uh, even more frustration for Ace Perry. Perry's gonna be. Crimson. Crimson, an ominous warning. Is Crimson here? Gory's ready to fight now. He'll, there's no way to run anymore. And Perry with a cutter. Oh, Gory got spiked. Perry on top. Ace Perry eliminated Gory. Gory. Ace Perry's beating the man that beat him. And you're going to give that assist to Gory. And Brett Havoc right now taking advantage. That's smart. Yeah, Brett calls that the, the beauty mark. And that pile driver, the Havoc driver, Brett Havoc's going to sneak in and steal this victory. Brett Havoc's the number one contender after tonight. Ace Perry, a major victory, a major token in his favor, a major weight off his shoulders, but just seconds later, an old Ace Perry rival, much like usual, usually it's Dylan Bostic, tonight it was Brett Havoc, comes along and knocks Ace Perry back down a peg. Well, Ace Perry certainly got a measure and of revenge. And Gory's still looking for Crimson. Well, Lendl better take off. I wouldn't want to be in Gory's way. But a measure of revenge for Ace Perry, but still can't get that monkey off his back. I'm guessing a little bit more anger, uh, more frustration from Ace Perry. But what an impressive showing for Brett Havoc, like it or not. Brett Havoc will face the welterweight champion at Pamir's anniversary. Gory's upset. Perry's upset. But Havoc grinning like a Cheshire cat because he came from out of nowhere and could capture the welterweight championship in just a month's time. The welterweight title may wind up on, allegedly, a most beautiful waist.